Hi, Andrew here. So we're gonna do some more 556 ballistic gel testing today, and today we're taking a look at the Mark 318 Mod 1. This is, in a way, Marine Corps' answer to M855A1 before they had M855A1 shoved down their gullets. <laughs> that is, uh, Mark 318 Mod 1 is designed to be an improved version of the already pretty decent Mark 318 at least in regard to terminal performance. We're gonna test it out of my 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper. As I've mentioned in previous videos, one of the primary reasons for testing from a short barrel is so that we can take a look at what it can do downrange, as well as, you know, if it does okay from a short barrel, it'll probably do okay from other barrel lengths. Let's get out to the range and shoot it in some calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. All right, guys, so the total penetration was over 29 inches. It passed all the way through this first 16 inch block as well as this catcher block that I use. And it bounced off the soft armor that I placed behind <laughs> to catch this sort of eventuality. So we don't have a projectile to look at. However, the neck is almost non-existent roughly half an inch. Temporary stretch cavity. Eleven inches by three inches. So much disruption in here. I don't see a lot of fragmentation, but there may be some when we flip it around or later on when I melt this block down. All right, so we flip this around, and we can see a small amount of fragmentation. Just a couple little pieces here, here. They look like they are almost entirely jacket pieces. There is some dark, some darkness in the middle here that looks like it could be lead fragmentation, but if it is, it's extremely fine, almost like dust. And it stays fairly close to the main track, except for that little lobe here and here. Otherwise, the fragmentation is very minimal. Let's take a look at the other side of the block here. Looking back through the block in the other direction, pretty much the same story. Minimal fragmentation, but huge disruption in the block. All right, so I took another shot off camera, and again, it penetrated very deeply. Total penetration was 25 inches exactly. However, this is the bottom of this block. I had to turn it over so that you guys could see where the bullet was. If I can get this out of here. I'll take a little bit closer look at it. It kind of blew off the front part of it, leaving just the, the base, which of course is what it's designed to do. The fragmentation that you see in the block seems fairly minimal, but of course, there is, there is a fair amount of it. We'll get a measurement for the retained weight when we get home. And of course, some better photographs and all that. All right, well, that was an absolute bomb. A extremely short, almost non-existent neck, huge temporary stretch cavity, lots of fragmentation and deep penetration. Of course, for civilian home defense, that may be a little excessive penetration. For military use, that's exactly what we want. We wanna see lots of disruption and lots of penetration. We get the best of both worlds. In the military world, there really isn't such a thing as too much penetration. We're generally operating under the assumption that everything in the direction your weapon is pointing is a bad guy. Uh, yeah, I know, that the, some exceptions, whatnot, but generally speaking, we don't care about over-penetration. In the civilian world, people do care about that a bit more, although I'm, if you've been watching this series, you know my feelings on the matter. I personally believe that it's extremely unlikely that your round will pass through a bad guy and hurt somebody that you didn't intend to hit. Um, happens for cops all the time because they often have to shoot people in crowded areas, but it's extremely unlikely for 
a civilian good guy at home, and I have yet to see someone give me an example of someone who acted in justified self-defense inside of their house, shot through a bad guy, and hurt an innocent person. So where does that leave Mark 3.18 Mod 1? Um, well, if you're asking me, it is perfectly suitable for defensive use. Uh, it is absolutely a good choice for defensive use in your home. If you're asking someone who's concerned about meeting that FBI 18 inch max or less, then maybe this isn't the best choice. As always, the ultimate choice comes down to you, the end user, as to what fits your needs better. If you disagree, if you have an opinion on the matter of overpenetration, definitely leave a comment below. Come join us in the thread. We'll post a link to the thread in the description. As always, like and share and engage with the post, um, with this video, because engaging with videos helps YouTube understand that you like watching gun videos. And if you want gun channels on YouTube, not just AR15.com's gun channel, but all gun channels to do better, like, share, subscribe, share, uh, share, share, share. <laughs> no, seriously, post it on Instagram, Facebook, all of that. That helps us gun channels out immensely. Have a great day.